there we go. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Kevin Hand. Apparently I'm alone. Hello, I'm here. Yes, okay. No, Skype, Skype like, ate shit for a minute. Good. That's, that's what I wanted to do. I don't know. Um, anyways, here's a Nintendo Direct. Uh, including new details about Mario Odyssey. Or possibly mostly Mario Odyssey. Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> Like, I just want cool, interesting, fun things yeah. that are just fun. That's all I really care about. I would like Sun and Moon stuff, but that's not the whole Direct, because then it would just be a Pokemon Direct, because well, they've yeah, done that before. I don't really want that either, because I want to know... No, I... no, no, I'm not saying that I do. Okay, I'm here's here's here's, like... the, here's the thing with Pokemon. I want to know more than we know right now, but I don't want to know too much more. Uh, other things... No, 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 I agree, yeah. Other things I want to see... Uh, I'd like to see Prime 4, but that's not going to happen properly. Uh... They're probably going to show off some Fire Emblem Warriors, uh, Xenoblade of Earth thrown around, Yoshi, Kirby. Basically everything they showed at E3, but, like, expanded. I'd like for them to be like, hey, here's Switch, Smash, and Animal Crossing, and other such titles that people want to see, but I don't know, like, how much and if they're going to talk about new things. So, I don't know. And now we wait until... The video tips over yes. into into broadcasting, which can happen any second now. Now. Fuck it. Wow, I'm so happy my video was like 16 minutes behind. Um, it's not actually started for me. It's gonna start now. Okay. Ooh, rating pending to mature. In my in my kid friendly Nintendo Direct, it's more likely than you think. How do I hide the YouTube chat? Can I hide it? Okay. And welcome to Nintendo Direct. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo, video. and I'll be your guide. Today, I have news about what's in store for Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. We'll spotlight four of these titles in their own segments, and others will be featured in a series of headlines. We'll oh. begin with Nintendo 3DS for our first spotlight title oh. of the day. Okay, Pokemon. Yep. Cool. Okay. So I'm gonna actually pay attention. Some areas are actually playable in 3D, are you sure? <laughs> this is Pokemon <laughs> we're talking about. Uh, I don't know that area. Yeah, you showed the Pikachu area last time. Is it... Is it just a remake? Because that looked like a scene from Sun and Moon. And not necessarily like it. Unless there's like connectivity, like with uh, Black and White 2. Some wild Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon news has appeared, and you can catch it in four parts. Oh. <laughs> yes. As you just saw in the trailer, the legendary Pokemon that steals light, Necrozma, has transformed into two new forms. Dusk Mane Necrozma, who took over Sol Galeo, and Dawn Wings Necrozma, who took over Lunala. I like how they didn't call it Twilight Mane. <laughs> because uh, I, I assume they, they could have seen the uh, sparkly vampire jokes from miles away. <laughs> yes. In addition to new map areas like a beach where surfers gather, a valley of Pikachu and other facilities, the main characters have stylish new looks. On top of that, there are new clothing items and other surprises to look out for. Was that like Looks is like that a gem that they showed there? Like I can't tell. Will be different too. Oh. If you purchase either game early, you can get a special rock rock who will evolve into dust form lichen rock. Rockruff can perform a special move that this Pokemon usually can't learn. Also, if you purchase and download the digital version before January 10th, you'll receive 12 quick balls. Oh boy, 12 quick balls. <laughs> and finally, Good for selling them. The Nintendo 3DS virtual console titles, Pokemon Gold. Wow, what soon? No, I know. If you purchase either one, you can receive the mythical Pokemon <gasps> Celebi Dude. bonus in Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, Dude. Pokemon Ultra Sun, or Pokemon Ultra Moon. 
Awesome. Pre purchase Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver version mm. in Nintendo eShop after today's Nintendo Direct. Honestly, that's what I'm most excited for, Pokemon wise. Also, oh. Unknown Ultra Beasts, codename UB First and UB Assembly, <laughs> oh. their debut. Yay, it's UB the first really Ultra shitty first. puzzles UB from Okami. The walls. <laughs> That's the latest news I have, so please follow our coverage to see these Ultra Beasts in action, and much more. The Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon games launched... I don't know if they're actually new Pokemon, or if they're just like weird forms of other things, like, uh, Nihiligo and, uh, what, Celesteela? The other one kinda looks like the jellyfish that acts like a little girl, but the other one looks like, you know. It kinda looked like Celesteela to me, but that's much be... Oh, okay. Every hee hee and ha ha of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga has been remade for Nintendo 3DS. Okay, also after this is Kirby, apparently. Take back Princess Peach's stolen voice from Unless we're getting that, that uh, long-awaited Jigglypuff spin-off. in mode, Minions Quest, The Search for Bowser. <laughs> You'll go behind the scenes of Mario and Luigi's adventure to learn the somewhat heroic tale of Bowser's minions. The classic story mode also has new stamp sheets. Tap compatible amiibo figures to stamp them and earn new equipment. You can also tap the Boo Amiibo figure or the new Goomba and Koopa Troopa figures to get two additional stamp sheets that offer up items in both modes of the game. The more really? stamps you have, the more equipment and items you'll earn. Oh, so I forgot Mario that this game existed. Superstar Saga plus Bowser I, I Minions vaguely laughs its way yeah. to Nintendo 3DS Ooh, system that's October that's coming out soon, too. The new Goomba and Koopa Troopa Amiibo launch that same day. This is too much. Kirby is about to enter a tournament. Oh my god, this fall there's so many games coming out. Himself. Yeah. And his new game, Kirby Battle Royale, offers a variety of ways to fight. In Battle Royale, oh, okay. everyone battles until the last even Kirby know this standing wins. I think this is new. In That's what they're like. Mode, you hoard treasure until the fastest Kirby wins. And he's just getting started. Fight to the best of your abilities. And prove you're the one Kirby to rule them all. That looks pretty neat. There's a single player story Aww. mode too. Not to mention regional online battles. Kirby, Battle Royale. Also, it has DDD. Yeah, it doesn't follow the rules. That must mean that uh, Meta Knight is sort of not appearing in this movie. To celebrate Kirby's twenty-fifth <laughs> anniversary and to crown the world's favorite copy ability. If you're interested, head to Clean or yo yo. poll for more details. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> No, it's probably yo -Yo for me. If you missed out on the original Yokai Watch game, you I don't know what my one favorite of the biggest is. smash hits in Japan Craft, of get the last ten years. With but now's those. a great chance to jump into the series. Ooh, top the mini games. Is a new WarriorWare? Is that what that is? Is that what that is? If you already own a version of Yokai Watch 2, you'll be able to download a free Oni Evolution software update tomorrow that adds in new features, such as the opportunity to befriend S rank Jibanya. Also, if there are or S rank Komasa. If there are new uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I wonder if they're going to update uh, the original games to allow you to transfer them to there, or if they're just going to be like, these Pokemon can't be traded in general, because that would be really dumb. Because they like to do that. Catriel Layton, daughter of the famous Professor Layton, is on the case, and luckily some things run in the family. In the seventh main installment of the Layton series. Did this seven games already? Jesus Christ. Help out townspeople. Wow. Solve puzzles and hopefully save the day. I have still Try yet to play any of them. Flora costume only available in the Nintendo 3DS version of the game, and be there the day she opens her detective agency. Layton's mystery journey: Catriel and the Millionaire's Conspiracy launches on Nintendo 3DS October 6th. Nintendo oh. fans will have another way to play Minecraft, Minecraft on 3DS. Okay. Nintendo 3DS systems. I guess it's kind of neat. Why not? <laughs> or creative modes. How has this not happened? Use the included yeah. five skin packs and the two texture packs to customize yes. your game. Yes. Your inventory, crafting, oh, that's and map will be displayed on the touch screen. I mean, I and doubt I'll, I doubt I'll play it, but like controls. that's... Minecraft the new I Nintendo like that, 3DS though. edition. That's, again, that's neat. Today I like that. On yes, Nintendo that's eShop. Oh, it's right okay. after this presentation. All right, the then. Wow. will launch at a later date. Also, only new 3DS. For oh, well, I have Mario Party. Party series brought us together around our home consoles ever since the original launch on Nintendo 64. We partied like it was 1999 because Whoa. it was. And now 
The best mini games from all ten home consoles. Oh, that's cool. Going portable on Nintendo oh. 3DS. Is the masturbating game in it? Mini games, <laughs> the most ever in a single Mario Party title, to create the best one yet. The game supports download play for up to four people. Oh, that's cool. So with just one game card, any of your friends with a Nintendo 3DS family system can join in too. Take a tour through all the mischief, oh, like magic, and memories like that the series too. has to yes. offer. Yes. And Mario Party The Top 100 launches on Nintendo 3DS November 10th. That's pretty cool. In two days, Metroid cool. Samus Returns finally arrives on Nintendo 3DS. And everyone, from Metroid fans to Super Smash Bros. fans, should take notice. This meticulously crafted side-scrolling adventure contains immersive 3D visuals, hey, atmospheric exploration-based gameplay, versatile weaponry, powerful new abilities, and some truly Goodness. wicked bosses. Who or what will you encounter on this deadly planet? Vengeance has a name. Metroid Samus Returns is scheduled for launch September 15th. Wonder if they randomly just put it in that game. Atlas always has something they good in the mix for RPGs. They shouldn't have, have but... characters' paths will converge and the Alliance alive in an all-new old-school RPG from Atlas, heading to Nintendo 3DS systems in early 2018. We can also confirm that the handheld will play home to Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey Redux, with all of its new content and enhanced graphics. Another Nintendo DS oh, cult okay. classic no for that has set one. its sights on Nintendo 3DS systems in the form of Radiant Historia, Perfect Chronology. The gorgeous launch edition will include a collector's box with an art book and decal sheet. While you're at it, don't forget to check Nintendo eShop for something oh. else that releases today. The new Etrian Odyssey 5 Beyond the Myth demo. Two new titles from beloved series are almost here. Oh, hello. Uncover the mysterious origin of everyone's favorite lawyer, an Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. And soon, the bonds between heroes will decide their fates in Fire Emblem Warriors. Check this out real quick. You're looking at the new orange and white edition of the new Nintendo 2DS XL, and it'll be here before you know it on October 6th. Okay. That's all for today's Nintendo 3DS Wasn't the headlines. point of the 2DS is that they don't close? I guess they learned a lesson. Let's move on to Nintendo <laughs> Switch by kicking things off with a trailer for our next Spotlight title, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Please okay, so they said like four big titles, so it's Xenoblade, Mario, uh, what else? It's not gonna be Final Fantasy War, is it? Anyways, I'll wait a second. Many giant life forms called Titans live in this cloud sea. Oh, is this Xenoblade the already? Yeah. Build their countries and okay. lives on top of these creatures. <clears throat> in the middle of this world stands the World Tree, and it's said that at the top of it lies Elysium, an idyllic land of plenty. Plenty what? Many great <laughs> powers rule over regions of progress. The Kingdom of Uriah is one of them. Its territory contained within their titan. The Orions deeply respect nature, boasting advanced biotechnology. For now, we should keep our troops mobilized while we monitor the situation. What's They're with your weird face, Wars? What's wrong with your face? <laughs> Controlling titans through mechanical means, they bring heavy armaments to bear as they annex other lands in a bid to save their own from ruin and depletion. I doubt he would have been stopped, even by an army of 5,000 strong. The Imperial Province of Goma, a plentiful land now fallen under Ardanian control, and the Indoline Praetorium, whose people revere and worship the Those Titans. are words. Indole controls the supply of core crystals, which blades are born of. And so despite being a theocracy, they hold much influence over the world's military affairs. Next, the Argentum Trade Guild, a shrewd consortium of traders. They do well for themselves by deftly navigating the strained relations between other nations and exploiting wartime demand. And last but not least, Torna, carrying out secret operations under the Cloud Sea to achieve their mysterious goals. Before long, this world will fall into turn. I've grown an allergy to white hair, by the way. The legendary blade, <laughs> the Aegis. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. Time 
surrender over to a groaner. The Aegis must be destroyed. Then I shall Aegis too and make mountains of cash. I'm guessing your goal is Elysium. That is our dream. Who will find the Aegis? Who will make it to Elysium? Only time will tell. Welcome to Allrest, the world of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. My name is Azoda. Oh yes, oh. that's me, right there. I may be relatively small, but I am also a titan. And this little troublemaker... Is th 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 thank you, talking narwhal shit. ...who lives on my back. <laughs> I suppose you could say I'm his landlord. And his guardian, too. He refers to me as Gramps. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> The point the lip sync there. They call me the same. Rex used to work as a salvager, scavenging useful resources from beneath the cloud sea. Until one day he met a girl named Pyra, and the two set off on a quest to deliver her safely to Elysium. Can you believe he accepted such a lofty job just to impress a girl? Booty. They're not shy about oh, that. And this is oh, yes. me. Utterly adorable, if I do say so myself. In Xenoblade Chronicles 2, you too will embark on a journey across the Titan's backs. Each Titan fosters a unique scenery, very different from its neighbors. Some have big open fields, while others boast huge caverns set deep within the Titan's own body. That's Remember? disgusting. <laughs> We Titans are living beings, each with our own quirks, which you must learn to What the hell is with that swimming animation? It looks really derpy. We cross paths with many a dangerous creature on these Titans. That was it's super unfinished. Too, but it's sadly yes. inevitable that we butt heads from time to time. Those who fight together with synthetic life forms called blades, like Rex does, are known as drivers. When drivers do battle, their weapons and powers are granted to them by blades, such as Pyra, for example. Up to three drivers and three blades can work together at any one time. As you continue attacking with your normal weapons, you constantly work toward charging up your driver arts. These special abilities run the gamut, with some allowing you to inflict extra damage depending on your position. While other, more arcane arts, can cause HP potions to appear. Just use them wisely and watch closely the tide of battle to know when best to deploy them. Blades also support their trusted drivers by using blade arts to increase the power of their attacks, their accuracy, and the like. Did it do anything else other than just kind of float there like idiots? That way, the drivers can focus on playing a more active it's, role. I guess I'm assuming it's one of those things like, oh, like weapons only work if magic is with them, and the way, person so uses the magic on the weapon to make them work or something. Like I've, I've seen this scenario before. By mm. using items called core crystals, drivers can awake. I saw it looked a little silly that they were just like shooting their beam in them the whole time. This is no. It, it does look silly. Yes. You aren't limited to just one. A single driver can bond with multiple blades. The weapons and arts okay. available to you depend on the blades with which you bond. That's not a blade, that's a lance, and you also that's a gun. Kind of blade you <laughs> to you them. Oh boy, that's uh, the spirit of Titus. Because it attacked with Sometimes you soccer must balls. Have some very special ones. Oh, looks like you hit the jackpot this time. You can pick up the three blades in the battle with you. With each blade being either an attacker type, defender type, or a healer type, it's important to switch blades and tactics in step with your situation. Did he all wear no clothes? Like uh, I'm assuming that's a requirement. There's no better game plan than Again, asking the important questions here. Job at hand. As a basic rule of thumb for drivers, you should always stay abreast of the blades your party members are using, and strategize accordingly. By using your arts, you fill up your blade's special gauge. When you finally activate one of these specials, the driver will return the weapon to its blade owner 
enabling the blade to deliver a devastating attack. Yo, there's so much shit going on, like. Have four levels of intensity, and I must say. Yeah, Xenoblade battles are basically just a mess of shit happening all at once. Yeah, no. So, what do you? That's think? just basically the game. You're still a bit weird, yeah. but one day you may work your way up to being a great driver yourself. There is much more to learn, but consider this a sneak peek. That might be if part of why I like something more and really turn the tide. Keep then, like not getting into it too much. Because again, I've tried playing the original like two or three times. On Nintendo Switch, December the first. The world of all rest is waiting for you. Oh, that's pretty soon, actually. Mm. I should probably play it. Alongside the regular version, we will be offering a special. Yeah, I definitely need to be because I, I enjoyed the heck out of it. I special playing. metal game case and a 220 page hardbound art book. You can also look forward to the release Ooh. of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 themed Nintendo Switch Pro Controller sold separately. Speaking of Nintendo Switch, we have some more headlines for you. Platoon 2 is one happening game. Back by popular demand. Still a it's cut above the rest. Uh, now, some fresh twists. Cutting. Like what games involve cutting? And a bit of added know. turf on each side for your inking pleasure. Watch out though. Shooting up and down through those graded platforms should get pretty crazy. Now for something new. Snapper Canal. In this stage, a river is running right down the middle. The key to victory? Figuring out how to break into the central area and then push through the other team's base. Also, That's what I do we're best. introducing a new Brella <laughs> weapon called the Tentabrella. It's sort of like a regular umbrella, except, whoa, that's huge. It kind of looks like a big camping tent, capable of guarding over a large area. The Kelp Dome stage we showed earlier will be available to play Friday evening. We're planning even more weapons and stages for future releases, so Splatoon 2 should start I, I like that stage because it's time. just from the original. <laughs> Warriors from yes. across the Fire Emblem series have been summoned to stop the chaos. That dragon, character. Who's that character? Ike! <laughs> Each one will face armies a thousand strong by unleashing devastating attacks. As their stories unfold, new combinations of characters will mingle and bond on Double the battle with Fire Emblem warriors. And now, a beloved warrior is Hello, joining Blim. the cause. It's Lin. Hailing from Fire Emblem on Game Boy Advance, Lindis of the Lorca cool. lends us her steel. Keep your eyes on the horizon, soldier. A new trailer launches today. If you think I can't hold my own, you're sorely mistaken. Fire Emblem Warriors launches October 20th alongside the special edition, which includes the game, a premium Makes me wonder if they're going to include the other two as well, then. A double-sided poster, and a I'd like that. music set. Yes. Separately, the Chrom and Tiki Amiibo figures release the same day. The action puzzle game that lets you snip and clip your friends is getting reams of new content on Nintendo eShop and in stores. I'm trying to read the other like upcoming Plus, headlines to see like what they're what the they might be. The expanded version of the game that packs in all the paper antics of the original, plus more than 30 new stages, including a world based on comic books and a toy box world too. Oh, and get this: a new feature lets you replay all the original stages in a brand new way. You start with one of many random body shapes that will require some hilarious new approaches. So fans of this cult hit and newcomers alike can enjoy all of this new content with friends and family. Snipper Clips Plus, Cut It Out Together launches November 10th. This content will also be available for current owners of the original game to purchase as DLC in Nintendo eShop. You've never seen a shooter like this before. Kind of shooters. Change your size to change your powers in Morphe's Law, a local and online team-based multiplayer shooter coming to Nintendo <laughs> Switch. What? With teams of shape-shifting robots, this Law. is no ordinary no. shooter. No. Hitting a Morphe's body part will make it shrink, and make the same body oh. part of that shooter grow. As the size of each body part changes, your abilities will change too, forcing you to change tactics as well. Example, larger legs will improve your jumping game, and your um. hand size changes the way you use your grappling hook. Clever players might that seems both really stupid and really, like, your team's interesting at the same time. only as big as your team members combined, so keep it safe. Yes. The team with the tallest avatar wins the round. Morphe's Law launches first on Nintendo Switch as the console expands in winter kind of fun. 2017. That seems really fun, actually. 
If you kept up with the news from E3 2017, then you probably heard that Rocket League is coming to Nintendo Switch. This new version of the rocket-powered sports game will include all the modes fans have come to expect, along with some new Nintendo Switch exclusives, like Mario and Luigi Toppers, and the first-ever Nintendo-themed battle cards, along with the new addition of local wireless multiplayer. Check out Samus's gunship with its wave beam boost, followed by the Mario and Luigi NSR and its Super Star boost. Just pick the blue team to play as Luigi or the orange team to play as Mario. But to rep your love for Nintendo, you'll first have to earn these sweet wheels in the game. You'll have your chance when Rocket League launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday season. Arena of Valor is a multiplayer online battle arena game designed by the experts at Tencent Games. Explore and command a roster of over 35 fearless heroes, with roles including tanks, assassins, mages, support, warriors, and marksmen. Build the ultimate team with your friends to crush your opponents in real-time online battles. First Blood, Double Kill, Triple Kill, and all the features MOBA fans know and love will be included. Discover and dominate all the gameplay modes, including 5v5, I've never Three, played any of those sort of, any of those type of games. Hook wars they all, mode that will challenge your skills. They all look the same. They all, they all do look the same and none of them look blood. Carry your team to the finish line and interesting to me. And they also have the that arena. same like I have no arena clue what the fuck Valor, will be going on. Test version will be available thing. for free. Probably this cuz it's yeah. stupid, but live another life in another world oh, no. in this timeless <laughs> epic coming to Nintendo Switch. Winner of more than 200 Game of the Year awards, Bethesda Game Studios' open-world adventure, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, where you can virtually be anyone and do anything, can now be played anywhere. The ancient evil of dragons threatens the future of Skyrim. As the prophesied dragonborn, you are the only one who can stand against them. The type of hero you will become depends on the skills you choose to hone, from archery, to crafting, to destruction magic and more. Your choice of skill can dramatically impact your adventure. So even if you've played Skyrim before, you can create a new character with a new path. So steal yourself like a true hero of legend. The Champion's Tunic, the Hylian Shield, and the Master Sword can be acquired by tapping a compatible Legend of Zelda character amiibo figure. Or, you can always seek out these treasures as you explore the vast world. This version of the game launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch November 17th in Europe and the Americas. Bethesda cool, Softworks huh? is bringing two iconic first-person shooters to Nintendo Switch. Id Software, the studio that pioneered the genre, is bringing the critically acclaimed Doom to your TV and anywhere you want to be. Slay hordes of demons with devastating guns in single player and crush your friends in really online multiplayer. Games, but... When Doom cool. tears onto Nintendo Switch like, this holiday, people who like Machine that sort of Games thing. Wolfenstein 2 sends you on yeah, a no. mission to liberate a Nazi controlled Again, America. I don't care, but that's Only cool for people guts, who do care about guns, that kind of thing. Yeah. to spark the second American Revolution. Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus launches on Nintendo Switch in 2018. What happened to the old Colossus? <laughs> Flip Wars is rolling out a new <laughs> update and it's packing a new online battle mode, Class Matches. This mode has its own leaderboards, encouraging you to try and move up to the next class. It also introduces a red-hot new stage surrounded by bubbling magma. In the Red Colosseum, panels are plagued by flames, and if you accidentally touch them, your character will become harder to control. Some other new mechanics are being added too, like spinners that flip over panels. The new update will usher in local wireless play as well, so friends can I'm trying to think of like together on their own what this reminds me of, but I can't remember. There's so a Mario Party mini game now. that this reminds this me of. Yeah, but it's also just like like I've seen it elsewhere too. I think. All right, game fans, it's quiz time. Yeah, no, oh, I can't think of what it is either. Oh. Recognize this arcade cabinet? Yes. It certainly has been a while, but finally, after many years, our arcade titles are making a return, and the first one is Mario Brothers. By sharing your Joy-Con, you can run, jump, and compete, I mean, cooperate to win. Notice the little visual details from the arcade version. Other arcade classics are on the way too, including versus Super Mario Brothers, versus Balloon Fight. What person saying that game really sucks? Versus no. Ice Climber. Ooh, Ice Climber, good. Versus Pinball. Versus Clue Clue Land, and more. These arcade games will contain other Oh, I was about to say, you're gonna you not have Punch Out, but there is. See if you can spot them. Arcade Archives Mario Brothers is coming down the pipe September 27th. Real quick, 
some news for Zelda fans. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Champions Amiibo figures will release on November 10th. Okay. They'll summon materials and weapons, but unlike other Amiibo, they'll conjure up headgear based on the champion's divine beasts. They have functional purposes as well, and we'll have more info soon. Okay. Whether you compete in a court or a ring, there's no shortage of great <laughs> sports games for Nintendo. I like a bunch of sports games that I just like. Improvements and stunning graphics. <laughs> Smallpox tournament. The Nintendo Switch <laughs> lineup shook when it launches that on September me. 15th in Nintendo eShop. And in retail October 17th, I will never not call it Smallpox Tournament, by the way. It's, it's, it's also great. That WWE Smallpox 2K18 tournament. is coming soon as well. Smallpox tournament. EA Sports FIFA 18 is the most immersive, social, and authentic soccer game out there. Take the world's game on the go and play anywhere with anyone when FIFA 18 launches. Oh, Jesus, in that game. The premier Pokemon fighting game brings multiplayer battle action to Nintendo Switch next week. And the demo version is available right now, so give it a try in anticipation of the game's launch. I don't know if I want to get that game because I basically already have it. Mine is a couple new characters. I might get it used eventually, but a brand new RPG in development. Yeah, I think that'd be smarter. Oh. It also happens to be a Nintendo Switch exclusive. Oh. oh, please take a look. Hello. Ooh. In Wait. the faraway land of Orstea, what? Oh. eight travelers venture forth. Step into their the graphics looks very much like uh, Final Fantasy VI. As you see fit, eight brave souls, each with a unique talent. Eight lands, eight stories to be told. So tell me, friend, what path will you tread? That looks like a Final Fantasy enemy right there. Yeah. Embark on an adventure all your own. Project Octopath Traveler. Yeah. So it's an RPG by Square. That's what they do. So I'm sure. I'm sure it's fine. Through a mix of CG, pixel art, and visual wizardry that the developers have termed HD 2D. It does look really cool. I I really like the way it looks. Begin your journey as one of eight protagonists, each with their own origin, talents, and goals. Where will your journey begin? Who will you team up with? And where will you go next? All these decisions and more are completely up to you, the player. Each character has his or her own path action that can be used to interact. I like the one that barely wears anything. In a distinct way. <laughs> That's a joke. Oh, yes, of course that one has the allure option. For example, the warrior Ulberic can challenge almost anyone to a duel. That's what he does. With one such <laughs> duel, he could expose That's an evil doer and bring them to justice. Or force someone in his way out of the way. On your guard. Oh, he's a paladin? The dancer, Primrose, on the other hand. I, I don't think paladins randomly pick fights with everyone, but. But they said to bring him to justice. Oh. With this power, she could track down a missing person and bring them back. Or lure her enemies into a trap. She can even summon an allured character to help her in battle. Essentially, each character has their own way of achieving their objectives. The developers aim to give players the freedom to choose their own paths and immerse themselves in a deep story through true role-playing. That's pretty neat. But what about combat? In this game, battles are a fusion of simple pick-up-and-play, turn-based battles, and all new mechanics. One such mechanic is the boost system, which allows you to accumulate boost points with each turn you take in battle. You can then spend them to there, There's too many things that are BPs and across the video games. Or use it to chain attacks. Yes, way too many things. 
Try targeting an enemy's weak point to break its guard, then deliver powerful blows while it's weakened. Or, if an ally's in trouble, use it to get them right back into fighting shape. Identifying the right time to boost may just be the key to victory. There's a deep well of strategies to draw from, and your tactical genius won't go unrewarded. Later today, a demo version of Project Octopath Traveler will launch worldwide in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch. Oh, I might try that out. Pretty soon, a survey will I, be I think I definitely will. I want to see what's up with this, because so it seems really cool. If you can. Hmm. And look out for an extended cut of the trailer we just debuted as well. The latest RPG from Square Enix, Project Octopath Traveler, is scheduled for a simultaneous worldwide release in 2018. We hope you're looking forward to it. Cool. The full version of the trailer that kicked off that segment will be released after today's Nintendo Direct. Please check it out. But first, it's time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. This just in, a report written by someone named Biff? The world's stretchiest fighting sport arms is extending the fun with game updates. As announced at Gamescom, the next update adds in a new stage and a new fighter named Lollipop with three tricky new arms. I still didn't play that game. I have it, but I haven't touched it yet. <laughs> Fun truck is a good word. But there's another new feature as well. Now you can remap the controls to the buttons of your choice. After all, this game's all about flexibility. The best part? This new arms update goes live shortly after this presentation. Hmm, that's pretty cool. The goddess Rubis has spoken, and you have been chosen. Dragon Quest Builders is destined for Nintendo Switch. The game is a big hit in Japan, mixing the fun of building with an overarching story and the combat of an action RPG. You'll master the art of construction. <laughs> that looks really silly. Towns, but it's kind of it looks so cute! Defend them from monsters and rescue townsfolk in need. Succeed, and you may just rebuild Alephgard. The very same world where the series began. A separate free build mode allows you to build to your heart's content with unlimited resources. And a Nintendo Switch exclusive Great Saber Cub will boost your speed and grant you special material by defeating enemies. Dragon Quest Builder. I like is Saber Cub. It's a good word. <laughs> it's like game that so God, my Twitter's going nuts. It's already like 62 tweets. Tricks. Throw hearts and up to three enemies will become your allies. Oh my God. By working together, <laughs> Yo Yo Power! Team up attacks. Mm, yes. And many more, depending on your allies' copy abilities. Also, also ESP power still. Yes. Copy abilities and create combinations, like a bomb also, combo player. abilities. You play alone, and cleaning you ability. Friends, it's fun to mix up your alliances and create new powers. Together, you may have a chance to defeat the dark new force manipulating Dreamland. Yes. <laughs> I like Star Allies. Buff DDD. I like Buff DDD. There's a whole lot of fun in store thanks to Nintendo eShop. Here's Cook DDD, DDD and here's Buff DDD. Mining adventure. Steam World Dig 2 on September 21st. Golf through courses, towns, puzzles, and I'm actually really looking forward to that Kirby game. RPG golf story this year. This holiday, up to four players can blast them up together locally or online in nine parchments. Feast on combo-based action and solve match three puzzles in Battle Chef Brigade this year. Ugh. Deploy units and your masterful strategies in the turn-based tactical RPG Tiny Metal. Leap up walls and dodge saws in the randomly constructed side scroller Super Meat Boy Forever in 2018. Never hurts to beef up your gaming library. The Nintendo Switch lineup is stacking up fast. Use the power of memory to restore what the world has lost in this modern take on traditional RPGs, Lost Sphere, on January 23rd, 2018. Lost Sphere's filled very badly. By fighting back yeah. as modern Sonic, classic Sonic, or any one of the many custom hero characters you can create in Sonic Forces November 7th. I need to get Sonic Forces because you can make your own OC. Face your fears and uncover the truth as both Resident Evil Revelations 
and Resident Evil Revelations 2 make their way to Nintendo Switch on November 28th. Rockstar Games is bringing Ellie Noir to Nintendo oh Switch on November 14th, featuring all of its downloadable content, new collectibles, detective suits with special abilities, a Joy-Con mode, and new wide and over-the-shoulder camera angles, plus touchscreen controls for portable detective work. That's the last quick headline for Nintendo Switch. However, we have one last game to talk about today. No more Odyssey, then. Unless it's something new. Yeah, okay, no, that's more Odyssey. Yes? Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, the producer of Super Mario Odyssey for Nintendo Switch. Today we're going to recap a little of what we've already shown, but also reveal some new information about the game as well. Mario isn't too happy about Bowser trying to marry Princess Peach. You think? And Captain, <laughs> his new friend from the Cap Kingdom, has a mission of his own, to rescue his sister Tiara. And now the hero and his hat must join forces. Somehow, Cappy can grant his wearer free control over his powers. So together with Mario, they'll travel the globe and make good use of Cappy's skills, especially the new Capture ability, which allows Mario to take control of many enemies, animals, and objects. This globetrotting adventure will take them all that over the place. Really <clears throat> new Donk City in the Metro Kingdom, Coast Arena Expand in the Sand Donk. <laughs> Mount Volbono in the Luncheon Kingdom. Steam Gardens in the Wooded Kingdom. Bonneton in the Cap Kingdom. Fossil Falls in the Cascade Kingdom. It's a lot of bad today, puns, it's great. For the first time, yes. we're introducing Shiveria in the Snow Kingdom. This ice cold realm will chill you to the core. Now, take a look at Bubba Lane in the Seaside Kingdom. It's a popular travel destination for many thanks to its gorgeous, crystal clear waters. I like how Mario has to dive Apparently, again. the seawater has a refreshing I like that. Like it's carbonated. D yes? But we won't spoil it. Ew, all. sparkling water. Mario has even more kingdoms to visit, including tropical islands. D yes? Well, Carl, that's what carbonated place, water is. Mario is it's gross. Traveling in style. Well, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> that's just reacting. It runs on power moons scattered across the world. By collecting them, you can power up oh, okay. the and make it to the So I guess they do work like the, uh, the stars. The number of power moons required to reach a destination is different for each kingdom. But as you can see in this <clears> list, <throat> there are even more power moons than that, which should keep your inner treasure hunter hungry for more. That's really cool, though. Oh, jeez. That's I mean, a lot. these things are really Oh, hidden. my God. You may need to acquire one by solving a puzzle or defeating enemies. Oh, my goodness. The hell is that? Everywhere. So make sure to explore every corner of the world using every move at your disposal. If you collect them all, something neat may happen. Having trouble hunting down power moons? Then try talking to Takatu for hints. You could also give a few coins to the hint toad, or even tap Amiibo with some help from Uncle Amiibo to reveal a power moon's location on the map. Uncle Amiibo. If you're feeling stuck, <laughs> it's worth a shot. My uncle Amiibo that works at Nintendo. Globetrotting does have its benefits. Yes. You may find places to play mini games like Koopa Free Running or a Jump Rope Challenge. You'll earn power moons based on your results. And you can check out the scores and times of other players the world over if you're connected online. <laughs> also, the game world is home to a franchise of shops called Crazy Cap. Yes. There you can obtain outfits and other one. stuff with the coins you collected. <laughs> then customize Mario's look. 
Some outfits are thematically tied to the I like the jingle says it's on the nose. To a game from Mario's yes. storied past. So don't be afraid to play a little dress up just to suit your mood. Well, Dr. Mario. Not your surroundings. Or just because. And don't forget to let the Odyssey in on the action with decorative stickers and souvenirs from Crazy Cat. <coughs> there are just so many excuses for a quick photo op. That's where snapshot mode comes in. Simply freeze time at any moment, snap some fun photos of Mario, oh. and go for a close-up. That's kind of amazing. You can blur your surroundings, change color schemes, you name it. Oh, that's kind of neat. You can even rotate the camera and nail that vertical photo for your smartphone. You can post it to social media or use it as wallpaper on your PC or smartphone. For many, Mario games are all about making memories, so capture away. Cool! Huh, I like that. We've taken great care in creating these detailed sandbox environments for you to explore, and make the most of Mario's new and familiar moves. We made sure the game is chock full of classic gameplay elements. Thank you, King. Alongside a wide world of things you've never done before. Even the oh, I like I like that. I had the, uh, Mario the, series the first, classic Mario. Thanks to its lyrics, like, with the sung by colors. the one and only Pauline. I hope you're ready for more surprising new ideas. <laughs> yes. I like how yes is my uh, response to things. <laughs> Super Mario Odyssey landing on October 27. Wow. October 27. That's These sooner than I expected. These Amiibo figures will be available that same day, both individually and as a set. As you can see, they'll come in handy during your adventure, and all other Amiibo are supported. Alongside the game, we're also releasing a special hardware bundle, including the Super Mario Odyssey software and the themed Joy-Con you see here, along with a carrying case. Huh. That's pretty cool. We'll continue to release more new information on the official site of Super Mario Odyssey, and on Twitter, as we await Mario's next great journey. That's it for me, and from today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Alright. Uh, I was alright. Yeah, they didn't really show anything, like, new, new, but, uh, they did show some... I like how they talked about, like, 80 different things, though. I like that. Yeah, they that. did talk about 80 different things, and they showed some new stuff for the games that I am interested in, so... That's fine by me. I'm not sure what to think of, uh... Ultra Sun and Moon, though, because... If, if what we did see was a cutscene from the game, that kind of implies that it's the same game as before. Which, like... I'm not sure how to feel about that. If it's basically just like... If it is a third version, but now they split it up for some reason. Because I don't know. I, I, feel like, I feel like there's a bigger thing to it, because they wouldn't have just done that. That just I, seems really weird. I hope they wouldn't have done that, because that would be really stupid. But, again, yeah. I'm, I'm going to hold my judgment, but... Uh, just that... That didn't make me happy seeing that. If that is what that was, yeah. Again, if it is like, uh, like it is in uh, Black and White Two, where you had those like flashbacks to the original game, that like, yeah, uh, then that would be fine. But I don't know if it is or not. So like, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit skeptical. I mean, let's face it, I'm gonna get the game regardless. But like, I'm a bit skeptical at this point. Uh, as for the other games, they all look very good. Uh, I wish I had more money to get them all. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Alright, uh, do you have any closing thoughts other than that? Buff DDD. Buff DDD. Buff DDD. Also, uh, the, the, that game has yo-yo and clean in it. That means, uh, my wish list for returning Kirby abilities has officially been filled, so, you know yes. what, uh, I like that game already. 
and it looks really good in general. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess it's gonna be it then. So thank you guys yeah. all for watching, and uh, thank you. We're gonna see you guys all next time for whatever it is we do next, as always. So for now, we're gonna say goodbye. Bye. Bye.